Hi, welcome back to Dr. Vasu's lectures. Let's continue with the, the C language. The next topic in this module is uh, algorithm and the execution of a C program. What is an algorithm? Right? Let us discuss uh, this. Okay, coming to the programming, computers do only what they are told to do. Computers are nothing but a simple box, right? And with some, uh, of course, the processor and all these things. But coming to uh, the instructions, whatever the instructions we give to the computer, it acts accordingly. It cannot act on its own. Whatever the result we get from our programming is the instructions we give. So it acts according to our instructions only, right? We have a, a, a quotation like a gigo, garbage in, garbage out. Suppose if we give garbage, it gives garbage, right? So depending on the quality of output we require, we have to give the quality input also. So this quality input, of course, basic on, basing on the syntax and the prop, by following proper set of rules, right? Okay, we'll see that. Coming to this, we get uh, these words uh, often, they're called instructions. Instruction is nothing but the commands given to the computer. Commands or instructions, commands, statements, we call them often. So instruction is nothing but a command given to the computer. A program. Program means collection of instructions for a particular task. To do a particular task, suppose I want to do some mathematical operation. So we have to give number of instructions. So in all these number of instructions put together, we call it as a program. A set of commands or instructions or statements, all these are synonymous, synonyms. So whatever you call commands or instructions or statements, same. A set of commands is nothing but a program, an algorithm. We get uh, often this word algorithm. What is meant by that? A step-by-step -step process. Suppose you are given a task. Divide it into small pieces, small parts. And one after the other, when you want to solve a particular problem, we give, we go through a number of steps. This series of steps is nothing but the algorithm. So we have to define how to solve a problem. And this step-by-step -step process is called algorithm. So the method of solving the problem is nothing but we write it in the form of an algorithm. Let us see what it is. So here, before proceeding further, uh, like, share and comment and subscribe to Dr. Vasu's lectures and get more videos. Uh, you comment, you give your comments on uh, all the topics, whatever you would like to. You can ask any questions or any queries. I will answer them. Thank you. So in continuation with our algorithm, let us see a flow chart for even or odd number. Suppose you are given a number and you are asked to find out whether it is uh, even or odd. So here is a, a flow chart. It is drawn in the form of a chart and it indicates start with the given problem and divide that number by two. If you get the reminder is equal to zero, then if, it is, if you get it, yes, then you follow a, a certain steps, right? No, the number is even, the given number is even because the reminder is zero and you said s, yes, then the number is even. So here we come to the stage that display the result. So you will be saying so the given number is even number, okay? Suppose you say no, the remainder is not equal to zero, then you will be following say certain steps and say the number is odd. And you have to say that how here you come to display your result. The number is odd. If you follow this process, this step, right? This path will say that the number is even. If you follow this path, 
you call it as the number is odd. So this process of representing the given problem as a, a number of blocks and arrows and all these things, we call it as a flow chart. And this entire process, this entire chart, we call it as this method of solving the problem is called an algorithm. Okay. We often get it and for each and every program, before starting that particular program, if you can put it in the form of an algorithm, your task would be easy to write the problem, to solve the uh, problem and uh, write the program. Okay, next. Let us see the C program execution. Of course, earlier also we have seen that, but uh, let us see it in detail, very much in detail, how a program is uh, executed start with the you start the program right write a program you write you take some ide and uh, integrated development environment and you write the program right and you compile the program this is the source program we call it as the source is the source file is given to the compiler and it compiles now it checks for errors this program if it has some errors or mistakes, then you have to say whether your problem has, this compiler says your problem or your program, whatever you have written here has errors. Suppose it had errors, then what to do? You have to follow a certain path. That path is, yeah, you follow this path and go back to your program and uh, you rewrite the program, go through the program once again and uh, make some corrections and again give it to the compiler, right? So the compiler takes and if the, still the problem, these mistakes or errors persist, then you have to go back to the same process till you get no errors. When you say no errors, this path will, won't be there. It may be in the beginning or maybe after some iterations or after doing some corrections. So when you say no errors, then you go to the link section. Here we'll be linking our program with, right? And here the linker looks for the uh, header files, right? Whether you have included the required or the correct header file or not. This link section checks it. And here again, the next step executes. After the linking section is over, the program is executed. Again, at this stage, you get results, right? Some results, suppose I get a result. And these results are not good. Suppose if I say two plus three is equal to, uh, I, have, I want to add two plus three. Right? I want to get 2 plus. It should be 5. Suppose it has given some uh, 6. That means some mistake is there in my program. Right? The syntax and everything is over, is good. That's why it has passed through the compiler. It has come out with no errors because mistakes are not there. But the mistake here is in writing your program, instead of uh, putting a 2 plus 3, you would have put a 2 into 3. That's why instead of giving a five, it has given six. So it checks. You have to check your result. Your result is not good. Then what to do? You have to follow the path. And you come here and go back to your program, the source program, and make the required corrections. So if you check it, you can observe. Instead of writing two plus three, I have written two into three. That's why this uh, problem arises. So like this, you have to analyze the source file and make the required corrections. And again, this path, this path should follow. Again, it should be compiled and linked and uh, you get the results. Suppose the results are good, right? There is no such going back to the source program. Once the results are good, you publish your results, you display your results. That is the end. Display the results, A plus B is equal to five, right? Or some 10, whatever it is. So the end program is. So if you observe the overall flow chart, 
the overall flow chart looks like this right so the overall flow chart is here if you have errors at this stage itself you have to go back and make corrections and you have to follow this path the loop once the errors are corrected no errors are there again we come down to the link section and we follow this path when the results are not good again you have to follow this path so if you observe this it gives a overall picture of the how a program is it should be executed right so here is the way so with this the we have seen the algorithm what an algorithm is and uh, execution of a, a c program in detail okay okay all the best let's meet in the next uh, module thank you